you gonna do? Or what you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys, or what you gonna do? is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I was born here, moved to Florida when I was five, lived there for about 12 years, then California. I've lived just about everywhere in between, uh, Arizona and Colorado. I came here from Colorado about three years ago, and uh, I was in a professional white collar type job. I had a really good job. Uh, started talking to a bunch of my buddies who were cops, and they were about the only ones who liked their jobs, who had fun. And uh, I figured I'd check into it. I wouldn't trade it for anything right now. Supervising information about 416 and Charlie 1 at the Motel 34 South. Uh, we got a fight in the parking lot of one of the uh, new dancing bars here. Security's not able to tell us what they've got, so we're just going to see what's going on. Patrol and Charlie 5 arrived. Subjects one down in the street. Thanks, Copy. Go ahead and roll medical. What's going on? Got beat up here now. Who was it? Old man right here. They got into it? Yep. Okay. Medical's coming for you, all right? Hey, you all right? There's a knife over there, too. So. Who had the knife? We don't know. We came you out know? here. We came out in the You guys are security for inside? Yes, sir. Are you inside also? I was inside. Okay. And you were involved in this, sir? Yeah, well, yeah. He tried to rob me. He asked me for a quarter. He tried uh -huh. to take my watch off. He pulled a knife on me. The knife was somewhere over here. Okay. Yeah, we see that. And I tried to stop him. And, of course, I convinced him to stop him. Yeah? Which I did. Whoop on him a little bit during that? Were you out here? Is there anybody else out here with you? I don't know. So Charlie one, Charlie five. It's code four. It looks like a possible four oh seven. He's trying to get my wall. Yeah. Oh, he didn't so get there that. wasn't anybody else out here with you, huh? Uh, no. Looks like you got the best of them. If that's what happened. Well, uh, you got Why don't you go ahead and give me your uh, ID and everything? Okay. Did you see this guy at all tonight anywhere no, else? He wasn't just, inside or anything? No, I just walked down the street. You see, you got a quarter. I said, I ain't got no quarter. They pulled this uh, knife. What knife? Uh, yeah, I see the knife. We got okay. the knife covered. And I, I just lodged it from him. Uh -huh. I convinced him to do what I got to do. Okay. What well, would you have done? I'm with you. I might have done the same exact thing. If that was the circumstance, I well, think I, I would have done a little more. Stay around here for me for a few minutes, okay? We'll talk to you again in a few minutes. Let me get this guy. You got any topical? Uh, you know, I, this guy might have AIDS or something. What happened? Where's your uh, ID? Tienes papeles? Uh, yeah. uh, Tommy. Dame su licencia. Uh, Levántate. Bueno? Go ahead and sit down. Okay. Don't wander off. Only about four Arizona, Charlie, Yeah. You got a witness? Did you see this knife at all? That's, I, I didn't see the knife. Did I mean, you see the guy in the black hold the knife? Anything? No. no. Okay. That's when I went inside, you know, because I'm like, you know, there's going to be trouble right now. Yeah. So they started fighting, and then from here, uh, this guy in the, in the blue, he almost got ran over. Because, you know, when he punched them, the car just barely missed them. Okay. okay? So then, uh, then from there, um, they started going over there, but this guy, you know, he couldn't move and stuff, so that's when they started beating on, uh, they just started fighting, but see, this guy was... Did this so guy just keep keep hitting him, or what? Yeah, I mean, as you can see, he's not as drunk as this guy, because he couldn't well, even yeah, get up. I can see that. The other guy's really drunk. I mean, the other guy obviously got the worst of it. Uh, but what, what we need to determine is this knife here. You don't know like anything I said, about it? I, I didn't see who took out the knife, if it was him or the other guy, you know, so I don't, I don't okay. know. Okay, somebody take down your name or anything? Uh, no. Can you write a statement for us? Yeah, perhaps. Okay, be, be real quick. Just write exactly what you told me. Whatever you didn't see, you can't write anything about, okay? I'll have somebody come over. 
Can you have him snap out a quick little voluntary? Right. He didn't see anything reference the knife, so. So you hit him first after you dislodged the knife? Of course. Okay. No, 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 I'm not making any accusations. I'm trying to put the pieces together, okay? Yeah. Of course, stop him. I don't know if he had a knife or another knife. I said I commenced. I, get, I hit him once, hit him twice. A couple three, times, maybe three or three four times. times. Okay. Yeah, he went down. Good enough for me. But I wasn't going to give him a chance to come back on me. You want what? I'm you want to prosecute against him? Nah, no. He's drunk. He's drunk. You want to well, leave it? I drank two beers. He's drunk. Yeah, he is pretty drunk. Yeah. So you, you don't want to do me? anything about it? No. Hey, come on. Yeah, it's your ball. It's your no, ball game. I'm just that, here. But you know what? No, I really don't. Okay, that, that's fine. That's your option. That's what we wanted to determine more than He's anything. He's got to live with that. Yeah, he does. Yeah, and you, you, you did a did a number on him from what it looks like well, to me. Well, I was supposed to. I was supposed to put him down because if I let him up, he was going to maybe kill me or something. I don't know. David, can you hear me? Do you remember what happened at all? I don't know what I'm a little drunk to find out what happened. Okay. All right, David. Well, the medical people are going to take you away. The other guy's not going to pursue any charges or anything. He, apparently, they got in a little altercation. He had a knife, brought it out. He's too drunk to stand up, and the guy whooped on him, obviously. He was trying to put that in my body. Yeah, he did. I just lodged it very quickly, but then I commenced doing party time. You're an animal. Party time? Is that what it was? Were you a boxer back in the day, or what? Uh, yeah, 1961, you were No, I wasn't around in 61. I know Maris hit 61 home runs in 61. Really? Yeah. See, that's baseball, though. I don't know, Bob. <laughs> I know. You about, what, 36? No. 29. Oh, I'll give you a break. 29. Really? Yeah. All right. So, well, thank you very much. Okay. Take care. All right. Have a good night. You too. I've been a police officer with the Las Vegas uh, Metro Police Department for almost four years now. I'm originally from upstate New York. Uh, I heard Las Vegas was uh, an up-and-coming city. A lot of good things have been said about the department. It's really proactive. There's, there's a lot of good people down here. I put in an interest card and took the testing, went through everything, just like everybody else, and got hired. We're in a uh, violent domestic right now. Four subjects are involved, beating each other up, I guess. The details are pretty sketchy right now. It's in one of our local mobile home parks. Looks like two guys were beating on one woman. It might be a neighbor dispute. It actually came in as a domestic. But uh, medicals apparently arrived, and that's all the information we have. One of the males is still there. The other one might be back at a, a separate trailer. Pretty easy ride. What's up, guys? Uh, argument over. Dog feces, I guess. We okay. gotta poke the other guy. He's the guy got poked in the eye. He's fine. He doesn't want to go with us. Yeah, fine. He just kind of. He's like, well, yeah. you ain't gonna touch me. I said, no, I won't touch you. I said, it's all about dogs. Uh -huh. Apparently, they're arguing over the, the animals and whatnot. Where the, how are the and women involved in it? Wasn't it domestic or? Um, no, I guess the one, his, the guy who uh, we were kind of scrapping with that, that went after me, his wife started to come over there and she just told her this to stay out of it. This is your wife? Yeah, this is my fiance. We have three dogs. And so is he claiming out. that he mad because somebody's dog is oh, pooping in his yard? Yeah, his no, dog pooping the neighbor. in his neighbor's yard. It's our dog. And, uh, yeah. and he was standing up to yeah. me and he's saying... He poked his eye out. Yeah, he goes... Well, you ain't gonna lay a hand on me. And I said, no, I won't lay a hand on you. All I'll do is I'll gift wrap it to poop, and I'll send it to you. And right after that, when I said I wouldn't lay a hand on him, he went like up like this and poked me right in the eye. And that's your answer. No, poke, he was digging his. He'd right. come up and dig me, dug me like that. All right. What about this knot you got up here? What's that from? Uh, he was trying to headbutt me. I was just trying so to hold him. he didn't headbutt you? Yeah. I was just trying to hold him in that. So. What do you want to do out of this? I mean... Well, what she said that if I don't press charges, she's gonna. So. Well, she can't press charges. You're the victim. I mean, we went to the manager. We yeah. got over by the manager's door. Mm -hmm. He started belly bopping me and pushing me. Don't get up on me. Relax. Yeah, that's what he did. He started belly bopping me and pushing me. I said, "Don't put your hands on me. Keep your hands off me." He says, "I'll go you grab." Back a pile I already talked. You said, "Just stand back there, all right?" He said, "I'll go grab a pile of that dog and stuff it down your throat." Uh huh. And gift wrapping, right? And gift wrapping. That's gift what. Okay. So what happened to the part where it got physical? Who hit who? Phys he was belly bopping and pushing, physically attacking me. Uh huh. We were over there watching you, Joey. 
That's right. People saw uh, you too. As soon as I said I wouldn't touch you, you went up no like way. that and grabbed on no me. No way. You belly bought me no and pushed me more than once. No, I never pushed you at all. I more than once you did. And you swung and hit me. I the proof that they saw it out there. Hey, hit stop, me, okay. stop yelling, okay? Stop yelling or we're all going to go to the jail tonight for disorderly. I've had to listen to everybody's mouth and I had enough of listening to it. Okay? We're not getting anywhere yelling at each other. They said they saw it out their window, too. You seen this? I saw that guy, my cousin, and then I ran outside to saw him hit him. Huh? The guy right there. I'm not saying whose fault it is. I just saw him hit him, and then I ran outside to pull him apart. That was it. So, as far as you know, this guy started it. I'm, I guess. You have the yeah. long hair? I guess, yeah. I, like I said, I You're not being, are you being biased or unbiased because your cousin's the other party involved? I'm unbiased. No, I have, I'm not on no sides. I just saw him swing, hit him. I came outside to break it up because they shouldn't be fighting. Okay. I agree with that. And I came outside to pull the part, and they started... Were they already fighting at that point, or was that the they start were, of the they fight? They were already fighting. They were already yeah. fighting. I saw him swing and him. I got my shoes on. I ran okay. outside. So you did not see who started it? No. Okay. I just saw him swing and hit him. That was me. All right. All right, thanks a lot, bud. Well... I don't know how we're going to resolve this because he's got a different side of the story than you do, and both y'all, both y'all are saying the, almost the same exact thing, except in each other. You know, you're saying it in your favor, he shaded it in his favor. He says you started, you're saying he started. What do you want to do out of this? Well, I'd rather him just clean up his yard, and if he's got a problem with the neighbors, don't go trying to blame it on other neighbors because we've never had problems here before. Yeah, they just So he's fairly new to the park. Yeah. Yeah, he, he just moved in, in. and he within the uh, first week or so. All of a sudden, after our, we've been here for a few months, our dogs have never, nowhere. So now it's got to be our dogs. No, it's their, their, their own yeah. dogs, too. Well, I'll go talk to him and see, see what he wants to do, because, you know, as long as he's willing to drop it and you're I'll, willing to drop it. I'll put it. extra boards up to so that I don't have to worry about. Then he'll know any dog is his own. Okay. And he, he, look, bud, okay, you guys live in the same trailer park, all right? You gotta have to live together, okay? So you're gonna have to get over this. Otherwise, you guys are gonna be feuding well, all the I'm time. Let, will you let me finish? Will you please let me finish, sir? Okay, I'm just trying to help you guys out here, okay? I can't make you guys accept the fact that you gotta live next to each other, but you're gonna have to come to the realization that we can do fight every day? No. Okay. It takes two people to fight, remember? You know what I'm saying? It takes two people to tangle. Is there gonna be more problems tonight is what I'm no. asking you. Because he says, as long as you guys stay over there, he'll stay over here. He won't, he'll stay away from you, as long as you stay away from him. Are you willing to do that? Yes. Will that work? Yes. Honestly, truthfully? Yes. We're not going to be coming back out here tonight. No. All right. Another situation resolved, hopefully. Hopefully, we won't be coming back out here tonight. Otherwise, we'll take everybody to jail. Everybody's got their one side of the story. Shed it in their own light, so... Hopefully, this will be another... Three sides of the story. His side... The other guy's side. And the truth. And the real truth right in the middle, right? See you on the next one, bud. Okay. Well, we just got called. Actually, we got beeped. Uh, dispatch is advising us that we've got a uh, man in the desert, a gunshot wound. So at this point, we don't know whether we have a homicide or whether we have a uh, suicide. So we'll go and check it out. I'm in charge of the detective bureau and the identification bureau. This is the kind of calls we come on all the time, and they invariably happen in the middle of the night. We've got all our detectives out there, and they all end up in blue jeans and T-shirts. I'm in my jogging suit. I was at my son's baseball game. So we look a little uh, like a motley crew out there. And let's see what we got. Done the same thing. We're sitting in the car, he's got the motor running and the uh, radio playing, and he put a hose to the tailpipe. Oh, is this the guy that rolled up the hose later and, and then he still got died? Out of the car, and he rolled the hose back up because he had aluminum foil on it so it wouldn't melt, put it back in the car, but he had ingested too much. Yeah. Somehow we got some information from Metro that this guy was involved in a 417 with his wife. Uh, earlier, either today or sometime uh, real, real soon here. Um, she works over there, uh, so I don't know what, what the scoop is yet, but that's what we've got so far. This is supposed to have a note here somewhere on this. To... It looks like a note there. Over there. Okay. I can't get over to that one yet. I'll get the photo 
Wanna go ahead and grab one in yeah, route? Would you would you call for corner, please? Yeah. Yeah, have yeah. one in route. We have radio contact the on-call mortuary and see what kind of uh, ETA they would have. Don't ask them to come yet to find out what the response time will be. You got a note on the seat here. Good job for us. Laswell. Yes, sir. Spanish speaking officer working? Uh, I don't believe we have one on tonight. I can find out though. Would you please? Sir. Good job for that. What does it say, yeah. S2A? It says S2A. It's like scribbles, I can't even see. We need a Spanish reading officer then, right? Yeah, but it's it's also not written. All the letters Did you are understand it? Yeah, it's not, it's not real legible. Not real legible. Well, that's what I'm saying, though. We need somebody not just that can speak it, but that can read it. Yeah. Okay, let's ask dispatch if they would check and see if the uh, the RO is, in fact, a, an employee of the and yeah. if, in fact, she's working at this time. OK. OK? But you don't want her notified right Not now. notified, but uh, we want to know if she's there right now. Okay. Control for you. Up until the time we determine that it is going to be a suicide, if, in fact, it will turn out to be that way, um, we're going to carry it as a homicide. Um, you know, you want to find things like the guy's keys, uh, any signs of uh, struggle, anything like that. Beretta. That is going to be a 382. That's a nice 380. No, that's not a Beretta. Versa. Oh. I can't hardly believe that would go through it. Go through the back you seat. You can't see where the wound is yet. Coming in to this crime scene, there's no evidence of any disturbance outside the vehicle. One man in the vehicle, the gun lying on the floor, cocked, one shell casing, what appears to be a suicide note. It doesn't appear to be anything out of the unusual of uh, suicide. But we still have to maintain integrity of the scene for the reasons that the family may have questions about what happened. Oftentimes, they go into a state of denial when I say my, my son or my brother, my husband wouldn't commit suicide. So we have to be able to say how it is that we determined it was a suicide. OK, so it's nobody's fault for my death. Okay. He's saying it's nobody's fault for my death. That's what that one says? Yeah. No fufa means nobody's fault. Nadian is nobody. Okay. Damn me muerto. That means of my death. He's saying this is like my last word. This is my last statement nobody. to you. We filed a police report with the Metropolitan Police Department this afternoon about 11.30 because our decedent here had uh, kidnapped her and battered her and tied her up in the house. Is that why she stayed in the hotel? hotel? So she had taken the children and gone to the hotel. Yeah, she had he knew that she was calling the police. Uh, didn't know where she had gone, apparently. Maybe knew that uh, what he would, what he had done was wrong. He has no other family here in town. More right-handed than left. Mm -hmm. No, it looks like kind of like that. Okay, so we're pretty much going to classify this then as a suicide because of all the situation. It all all matches then. Yes. Okay, there's no doubt. We got one round fired. The decedent had a fight with his wife earlier. Police were called. She reported that he had uh, held her against her will. She was able to leave later with the children and was staying at a hotel over here. Apparently despondent because of that. And she filed a uh, kidnapping charge against him? Yeah. He was aware of that? Okay. So he came out here and capped himself. Okay. Let's wrap it up.